hello my brothers and sisters welcome back to my channel today i come here with a word of encouragement for you and for anybody who has been seeking the lord for the baptism of the holy spirit but you have not yet received before we start let's turn our bibles to the book of luke chapter 11 from verse 5 it says and he said to them which of you shall have a friend and go to him at midnight and say to him friend lend me three loaves for a friend of mine has come to me on his journey, and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within and say, Do not trouble me. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give you. Then Jesus continues to say, I say to you, though he will not rise and give to him because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. And I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened. For everybody who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. If a son asks for bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will he give him a scorpion? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? So if you are asking the Lord for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you have a promise from the Father. And his promise is that everybody who asks is going to receive. That is his promise. I know there are a lot of people sometimes who tell me they have been asking the Lord for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, but they have not yet received. And the one thing that I can tell you is you need to be consistent. You know, the baptism of the Holy Spirit happens differently for, for different people. Some people just ask once and then they receive. Other people have to keep asking. You know, the Lord deals with us in different ways, but whichever way that the Lord deals with us individually it's always for our good you know he makes all things to work together for the good of those who love him for example my sister received the baptism of the holy spirit the moment she asked the very moment but for me when i was praying the lord just kept saying just continue praying i can hear your prayers so even when the lord is silent know that he is hearing your prayers and you are going to receive. The Lord does not want you to be discouraged. A lot of people are discouraged and then they have been asking the Lord for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But the reason why most of you have not received is you have not been consistent. You know, you may be consistent for a short period of time and then you let it go. You know, you, you just forget all about it. Like, oh, maybe I'm never going to receive. And then maybe after a month, that's when you you think it, it starts to bother you again and then you think let me get consistent and then you're consistent for two days and then you let it go but that's not how the lord wants us to pray you know because when you're praying for something and then you stop praying about it that's a sign that you have lost your faith that's a sign that you do not believe that the Lord is willing to give you what you ask for. Because if you know, you know, it's, it's just like this example that Jesus gave of this man who went knocking on his friend's door. If you know that somebody is not going to open that door no matter what, you're not going to keep knocking. But this man kept on knocking because he knew that his friend will eventually open the door. And the Lord does not want you to give up on receiving the Holy Spirit. It is very, very important. The Bible says what is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of the Spirit is spirit. That's what the Bible says. And how are we born of the Spirit? We get born of the Spirit by the Spirit of the Lord residing in us. Because when you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the desires of your flesh are going to diminish and they're going to die. And you are going to become a new creation. And that is the reason why Satan fights you so much from receiving. He's going to fight you with doubt and unbelief. But you must believe and you must know that God is a good father. If he didn't want to give you the Holy Spirit, why would he even promise you the Holy Spirit in the first place? 
but for him to promise you, I want to tell you, get persistent. You are going to come and tell me a testimony as long as you are persistent. You can, you can, you can set a time like um, uh, you can go on a three-day fast, you know, e even like fasting through the day and then eating in the evening, that's okay. Or you can go on any fast that you want, but keep being persistent. You are going to receive. The Lord does not want you to give up on his Holy Spirit. We are living in a time where it's very important for each one of God's children to know the Lord personally. The Lord wants to know you. He wants you to know him personally. He doesn't want you to rely on what other people tell you about the Lord because what if they are lying? We're living in a time when there are a lot of false prophets. Satan has sent a lot of his agents to come and pretend to be servants of the living God. And then what if they align to you? You know, you do not have to depend on what somebody tells you about the Lord. The relationship between you and Jesus, it's about two people, not three people. It's between you and him. And so the Lord wants you to come and know him. And the only way that you're going to, to be able to, to commune with him and have that intimacy with the Lord is when you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It's extremely important. Ask and it shall be given to you. If you don't, you know, some people think it's not necessary. Some people think they can just uh, ignore it, you know, because they love the things of the world. But let me tell you this. If you want to follow Jesus, seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's the only way you are going to have power over your flesh. So the Lord is willing. I just came here with this word of encouragement to tell you that do not give up. Be persistent. The Bible tells the story of the widow who kept coming. The Bible says each and every day she kept coming before the judge and saying, give me justice before my adversary and the bible says even though that man didn't fear god didn't care about man but he had to give her what she wanted just because for the very fact that she was persistent and then the bible says when the son of man comes on earth will he find faith will he find you continually seeking that's something that the lord told me about i remember the lord said whenever you pray the answer will always come that's what the Lord told me. And that's his promise in the Bible. He says, ask, you receive, seek, you will find, knock, the door will be open. But that's something he told me personally as well. He told me, when you pray, the answer will always come. But it will be different each time. Sometimes when you pray, it will come immediately. Sometimes it's going to take long, but it will always come. And so if you have been asking the Lord for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and then you feel like, you just want to stop. You just want to give up. Keep on praying because you are going to soon receive your answer. You are going to have the desire of your heart. It's the Father's desire to fill you with the Holy Spirit. He will not reject anyone who comes to him. So you do not have to feel rejected. You do not have to feel like God can't fill you with the Holy Spirit. You don't have to be satisfied with just living a carnal can, a life. You know, just caring about the things of the world, there is more that the Lord wants for you to know in his kingdom. Seek the Lord and you will find him.